A man named Galileo Galilei was born in Pisa, Italy on February 15, 1564. Galileo is known for being an astronomer, as well as a physicist, mathematician, and a natural philosopher, and he is also known for combating the Catholic Church on the popularly adopted view of heliocentrism. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's start from the beginning. He was the son of a wool merchant and the oldest of six children. His father wanted him to go off to school and study medicine. Being the obedient son that Galileo was, he enrolled at the University of Pisa in 1581. He originally enrolled there to study medicine, but when he was there, he saw a lamp in the cathedral swinging back and forth and back and forth, and this led to the creation of what is known as the Law of the Pendulum. After seeing the pendulum swing back and forth, Galileo switched his major from medicine to natural philosophy and mathematics. From then, Galileo went on to develop a scientific method in which one conducts an experiment to test a hypothesis, rather than think about something like Aristotle did. In the early 1600s, Galileo heard about a Dutch eyeglass maker who created a spyglass. He visited the Netherlands and observed what the eyeglass maker had created. In efforts to mimic this, Galileo created a telescope, originally with 10 times zoom, and then he later developed a telescope with 32 times zoom, and from then on, he started to observe the night sky. Galileo is credited with observing the four moons of Jupiter, which happened to be named after the Medici family who sponsored him, as well as noting that Venus had multiple phases. This helped to confirm Copernicus's theory of heliocentrism. Galileo also not only made Copernicus's theory of heliocentrism popular, but he used math to back it up. Galileo stands out also because he argued that the universe displays mathematical regularity. This eventually leads to some of his debates with the Catholic Church. By this observation, Galileo was able to prove Copernicus's theory of heliocentrism was in fact correct, because he noticed that the moons of Jupiter rotated around Jupiter. However, he wasn't able to say why the moons of Jupiter kept in orbit and the planets kept in orbit around the sun, because Newton hadn't discovered gravity yet. When it came to planets, the church believed in Aristotle's theory that all planets were spherical and smooth. However, Galileo took a look through his telescope and he noticed that there were craters and mountains covering the surface of the moon. Then, Galileo went to Rome to argue with the Catholic Church in 1616, in efforts to prevent the church from banning Copernicus's ideas. Galileo got in a heated debate with the church. The church argued that the ideas of heliocentrism didn't agree with the idea of Aristotle that the earth was at the center of the universe. In 1632, Galileo was sent on trial, and in 1633, he was found guilty of heresy, and he was required to condemn his views, which he did not do, and he also had to be placed under house arrest for the remainder of his life. Galileo was belligerent with the church and knew he didn't have to recant. Even after he was convicted, he still continued to argue for the heliocentric model. Galileo was sentenced to house arrest for the rest of his life. He served nine years of house arrest before his death in 1642 at the age of 77.